This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. We got one more video here that I want to show you. This is a woman that approached the guy at a nearby mall. And now they've been dating for like, I think, eight or 10 months or whatever. They're all over TikTok, like on each other's channels and stuff like that. And it's all great. But let's let's see what her situation is. Let's add her to the, to the stage. Saw this guy and I really wanted to ask him out. After a few minutes of thinking, I took the courage right. in. Uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm yeah. Michelle. Uh, you're Michelle. Chris. Yes. <laughs> nice okay. to meet you. I wanted to ask you. I didn't let go of his hand. Oh, so you mean that women that cold approach you and that have high interest are willing to touch you and let it linger? But what about guys having to be the ones to break the touch barrier? What about the guy having to be the one to like put the arm? I tell you guys all the time, women that have high interest will do these kind of things, such as they want to touch you, they want to kiss you faster, like all these things, right? If you wanted to go out with me tonight, I mean, yeah, exactly. whatever you want. I'm like, I have 15, 20 minutes. If that's okay with you. So I can make it cancel and we can go out. All right, then. I think I need an outfit for that, though. Would you like to help me choose I know, it? No problem. So why not? I mean, we can just pull in beer and see what we can find. Now, I want to stress to you guys, right? Because obviously, this shows about like when the women approach you. But notice this guy. This guy, he's for, the reason he's being sought out. Part, part of it is that he's already got the swag going. Like you see, as he's talking to her, like he's like, the girl showing interest. And he's just kind of like, oh, hey, looking her up and down. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's not over eager. He's not being overly excited about, oh my God, girl talking to me. Oh my God, what do I do? He's already like, he's acting as if this happens to him all the time. And so that level of confidence, she could already see before she approached him that he probably gets girls. He probably has no problem dating women and getting women to be interested in him and hooking up with women. And God, I hope that he chooses me to, to want to go out with once I approach him. Like, see, like, you know, where women are reading your body language and reading how your style is and what your finesse could possibly be just off of how you're going about your everyday life. So you guys that are walking around with your chest up straight and you kind of have a fashion sense about you, you're going to have an easier time with women wanting to approach you, then you guys that are like, women don't ever date me and I got to work for them and yet your shoulders are slouched over and you don't have a good fashion sense and you're walking around like the world's just beating you down. Like women are going to see that and be like, I don't want to approach him. So this also goes to even, you have to be aware that even if you don't think women are looking at you, women are out there looking at you. And so that means you need to carry yourself in the world a certain way to where women that are of high quality are going to see you and think, I'm high quality. I think he's high quality. He carries himself like he's high quality. I think I should approach him because who knows if he can see me from here? Who knows if he's sitting at that bench over there? He might not know to approach me. He might think that I'm so hot that I'm I'm taken. So I got to make that move. But she's going to him with him already having this kind of swag. And so you got to up your game, guys. You got to up your clothing game. You got to up how you feel about yourself, your confidence levels, and carrying yourself a certain way to where women will see you and want to do that. If you need help with that, Go to introvertdatingsuccess.com. Let's talk about some coaching. I can help you out with that. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> also note, so she said, hey, I need an outfit if we're going to go out tonight. Or, or like, what's up with that? He already he already said, hey, let, let's go to Pullen Bear. So he already had a place in mind where he could potentially take her to get an outfit. This guy already has pre-plans and knows places of town and where to go to do and get stuff, that is a guy that is now showing he is a man with a plan. As I tell you guys, men with plans are going to win over all the women. And that's why I have the Introvert Dating Success Academy because it is a step-by-step -step plan for how to meet, greet, attract, date, and land the women of your dreams in a process that women will be like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. Oh, he knew to take me on this kind of date. He knew to talk about these kind of subjects. He knew to look out for this when I was ready to, to do it for a kiss. Like, oh, that guy knows what he's doing with women. Women want men that know what they're doing with women. And this guy clearly knows what he's doing. He chose my outfit. He's so cute. I can't. He got the dress, the accessories and oh shoes. Oh my God. Let's try it out. And this is how it looks. So notice. He picked that out for her, which means what? He also knows enough about women's fashion to be able to look at a girl and say, I think this will go with you. This should be with this, this, and that. And all she did was just say, yes, whatever you say. So now we have a girl that's also willing to take his leadership. 
And again, she approached him. So she approached him, but subconsciously probably felt that he could do all these things already. So she already felt safe in her mind enough, like this guy's probably to be a good guy. I'm going to approach him. So again, this is why it behooves you to study up on women, study up how they communicate, study how they talk to each other, study what things they, they, they are attracted to, and also kind of study up on like what women like to wear, what they like to do out in public, because that's only going to make you be a more viable candidate when they approach you. And they're going to think, oh, crap, I actually chose right. I'm so glad I did this. How is it? <laughs> he got this in case the weather got cold. He's so sweet. And he even paid for it. Now, because I know you're going to call me out, right? Some of you guys are like, but Harry, isn't he simping? Because he, he paid for her outfit. This is what I try to tell you guys. Simping is a matter of what is the reason behind doing it? Are you doing it to, for her or are you doing it because it's something you want to do? And those are two different things. If he was just buying that because I want to try to impress her and those and that, she'd be able to feel that. And even though in the moment she hit up with him, her feeling that he's doing this just to try to please me now becomes a thing where it's like, oh, now he's simping versus, hey, I'm, I'm doing this because I want to. I'm taking care of this. It is what it is. And if you choose not to date me after this, I don't give a crap. I did what I wanted to do. Walking in with that kind of attitude, you can do a thing like pay for her clothes or pay for her meal and it not be considered simping because it's not a thing where you're doing it with the intent of trying to get an outcome from her. When you do things with the intent of trying to get an outcome from her, that is when it is considered simping. This guy, I imagine, probably has a lot of money. Therefore, he can do this and be like, it's a drop in the bucket. If she goes away tomorrow, I'm not going to call her up. Hey, you owe me for the clothes. Like, that's not what he's walking in. And so, therefore, in this particular instance, that is not simping. But you got to get to that point. I, to take a sorry. I've literally taken women to concerts for dates and taken women uh, to like, Semi expensive, like PF chains type stuff for dates. Not because I was trying to 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 please her. It's because I wanted to do it. I wanted PF chains, and I was hungry. And we had started talking. Took her there. There was a concert coming in town. I wanted to go with somebody and not be by myself. Whether they decide to to be with me long term or not. So I said, Hey, let's go to a concert. You owe me nothing. Went to a concert, had a good time. Three dates later, it didn't work out. I didn't feel bad about it. I wasn't like, well, when I took you to this concert with this big artist, how dare you? Like, no, it's something I wanted to do. It wasn't something I was doing for this other person. So you see, that's the difference. But all this to say, yeah, this woman, she approached this guy. And as you can see, he knew how to finesse it. He had the swag on him. And so when women are cold approaching you, another way, if you don't want to lose them, is Kind of know in advance, like what to do, like know how to talk to women, know how to look up and down in that way. It's like sensual and flirty and playful. That whole shopping trip, he was being flirty with her. He was playing with the clothes a little bit. Like that's women want to feel like they're with a guy that knows how to have fun and knows how to be active, but not be such a guy that's like he's so nervous that he's trying to make everything super serious. And it's got to be about getting a relationship. And I got to buy these clothes because I want her to be with me. Like if you give that kind of energy off, even a woman that approached you will be like, this guy is not for me, you know?